about five o'clock on the busiest road in Alamance County, and you can see the traffic, the people uh, headed home from work, headed in to relax for the evening. distance to these apartments and Walmart and all these things and God has given us stewardship over a tremendous property where we can be a light in a lost and dying world to spread the gospel. Jesus said I'm the rock and I'm going to build my church on this rock. Then he told Peter you're a little rock and, 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 and Peter you're going to build a bunch of little rocks on the big rock. Well, Jesus is the rock and we got all these little rocks. And I just need you to be a rock in this community. I want you to be the foundation of what God is doing fresh and new uh, through Westside Fellowship as we plant this second campus. It's going to be an exciting ride. Hebrews 11.6 is a verse that Stephanie and I have used our whole life as Christians to kind of filter as we make decisions about what God wants us to do. It says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. It goes on to say that he rewards those who diligently seek him. And when we started Westside Fellowship, we had about three godly, uh, biblical options to serve him. And I was actually for one of the other ones. And Stephanie said, Mike, we really need to do the option, the, the choice that requires the most amount of faith in God. Planning Westside Fellowship was that choice hands down. It required far more faith in God than any of the other options. And so that's what we went with. We've encouraged people throughout our whole ministry when they come to us say, I don't know whether to do this or this. Well, which requires the most amount of faith in God? Because God is honored when you, when you put a lot of faith in Him. We have not been confronted with a choice as large as planning Westside in the 11 years. We've picked a place to have a building. We've done some programs. We've sent some missionaries around. We've We've done a lot of things, but as this second site came on the radar screen, for the last two and a half years I've been praying through it, I have not had a decision in front of me, I don't think in my entire life, where it's requiring more faith in God than, than this decision to lead Westside to plant a second campus. Uh, we have a little bit more money in the bank than we did 11 years ago. We have a few more people in our congregation than we did 11 years ago. We even have a building, which we did not have 11 years ago. So we've got some things in place that we didn't have then, but still, unless God shows up with this second campus, it's going to flop flat as a flitter. It's going to hurt. I'm going to be unconscious wondering what in the world was that. But if God is indeed leading us this direction, all our leadership thinks so, and, and, and the circumstances seem to indicate so, and I'm standing in the showroom of the place we're going to meet, an old car dealership, by the way, I think he has led us to this place as we exercise this exorbitant amount of faith in him where he has to show up and bless this in order for it to work. And I, I, I'm, just, I'm asking you to be a part of that. You, you look back and you hear the stories about the Shepherds or the Browns or the, uh, the, the Millers or, or the Woodsons or the Nortons, those, those original families that came together to do uh, church differently called Westside Fellowship and what God has done with the commitment of those few people. Be a part of the group that come together and do something brand new and fresh this time. 10 or 11 years from now we'll be telling the story about your name and your faith and the, the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into God doing something unique and fresh in this county. Man, within walking distance of this place, there are all kinds of people that are either Christians who are hurting or lost people on their way to hell, and they need Christ to transform them from the inside out. We need to be a beacon. God is taking back over this town, this state, and this country. I'm going to pray for that. I'm going to stand in the gap for him as long as he calls me to do so. Would you stand with me? And would we be his instruments to reach a lost and dying world right here.